I'm back with another thrifted space makeover. I don't know, that's what I'm calling it because this is technically not a room that we're making over today. It is my patio. We have a really great patio set up here in our backyard, but it needs a lot of work. We have some really good bones to work with. We have a really nice pergola that the prior tenants put up and we also have a stoned flooring. So we have a lot of good stuff to work with, but I want to bring in a bunch of new thrifted goodies, make over the space entirely, clean it up, and really just make it another livable space for us in the these warmer months. This video has been in the works for literally months since we first saw this place. I knew that I wanted to transform this space into something super magical, so I'm really, really excited to finally get started. I think it's going to be a long process of getting everything completed. I'm excited to take you guys along and show you how we're going to flip this entire patio space into a thrifted patio dream. So here's the space we're starting out with. It's actually quite spacious, but definitely needs a little facelift. So the stone flooring isn't in the greatest condition. So we're gonna try to clean it up the best we can along with the pergola. Under pressure. Okay, can you wait? All right guys, it's pressure washing day. And I'm doing some pressure washing, but also I have a very, Big helper. <laughs> Star Wars joke. Anyways, so our goal today is to My goal today is to divorce my divorce my husband. <laughs> okay. Cut. Our goal today Stop! <laughs> Anyways, our goal today is to pressure wash the patio. I'm gonna try to get some of the pergola. Mostly my goal is to get the floor of the patio looking better. We rent, so we don't have full control over like repairing some of the tiles that are broken, but I'm just going to try to make it look as good as possible and to just spruce it up, and make it look really as good as I can, honestly. now pouring rain but I still have to make this video so we're gonna keep pressure washing and hope for the best look at the difference of what's been cleaned and what hasn't been the floor though is looking so much better I wish it was in better condition, but again, we're renting. We can't really afford nor would want to spend the money to redo this. So we're just working with what we got, but I feel like it already looks so much better than it did before. I've now subcontracted my work out, guys. I'm getting smarter. We'll be adding curtains to this space later. So I went ahead and tossed these old shades that were falling apart. I probably should have done that before pressure washing, but oh well. So here is the fully pressure washed space. I'm honestly really shocked at the pergola. I was going in with the intention of really cleaning up the stones, which also look amazing, but the pergola really turned out so much better than I ever could have expected. It was honestly like 10 shades darker than I ever even knew. So now our space is completely ready to start styling. So here you can tell where we missed a spot because there was this shade that we took down and you can just see the difference of what hasn't been pressure washed here and then what has been. It's so different. Going to pick up the patio furniture. And all I have to say is I feel like a badass bitch driving a U-Haul by myself because usually Derek drives it and I'm like, yes. She is an independent woman, and she can drive a U-Haul truck by herself. Hopefully. Right, I got the patio piece. And yeah, I didn't get murdered. Hot tip. Don't get murdered when you go get furniture from Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. All right, so we have a bunch of our Facebook finds. We have the space prepped. Now I'm going to hit up some thrift stores and see if we can find some good accessories. I would love to find some like planters, maybe just some like things to make the space look cute. Home decor is sometimes a challenge to find at thrift stores, so it could be hit or miss, but we are certainly going to try. Mm -hmm. 
So I just found this shell plant holder, kind of like spreads out there, but it has a lot of damage, so I think I'm gonna leave it behind, but that would have been perfect. I would love to find some plant holders because I wanna make this space super green. They have a ton of clear vases, and I'm wondering if it would be cool to kind of do like a layered vase look on the coffee table and put candles in them. This one is really big, and it doesn't have like a bottom, so I think you would just like put a candle in there and then put that over it, and they have a matching one. So I'm wondering if maybe I should do this instead. They also have these, which look really cool. Like these could be fun with candles too. They have so many of them. Maybe I should just do that and do like these on the tables or something. I don't know, there's so many options. Also, I'm obsessed with this and I think I'm gonna get it just for my house because I love it. I don't think it will go in the outdoor space, but I kind of just want it for my house. I think I basically found my whole tablescape right here. So this is actually just like a Target candle like holder. And it's this concrete base, which I feel like is super modern. And it has this concrete base, which I feel like is super modern. And then I found these other kind of same cylindrical shaped vases they have a bunch more for my whole table i'm just gonna do like one big one two medium and then these two smaller ones this totally unrelated but i had to get it i think i have like a good little tablescape already going i have vases so i feel like we have a really good start on our tablescape and some more of the decorative pieces i don't really know too much more that we need besides like plants and maybe a couple pots so I feel like this was a success. Now we are at the Land of Meatballs, AKA Ikea, and I'm gonna pick up one thing that I need. Hopefully I can keep it to one thing because you know, I always go rogue in Ikea, but I need this one thing for the pergola and it's gonna like make the whole space. I'm gonna get dinner because they have vegan meatballs and hopefully that's all I walk out with. I feel like it's like pertinent to the Ikea shopping experience that you have the meatballs and now that I can't get the meatballs, I'm just like, should I even give Ikea my money? Like, I'm just mad now, I'm upset. I wanted those meatballs. Don't worry, we're gonna find what we need though. Already finding things I don't need, but honestly I do need. These are only $12.99. They are like cement planters. They're nine and a half inches. I like these, they match my centerpiece that I found. I also found candles for the vases I just got. Look how many candles Ikea has. Who would have thought? Like, honestly, never knew Ikea had candles. Okay, but I actually just found the perfect set that will match the size and number of the candle holders I have. Okay, can we just compare though? These, $5.99 each. I just paid 50 cents for my smaller ones, $2 for the medium one, and then I think $3 for the large one. So, steal. Finally, what I actually came for, a lampshade. They literally don't have it. It does say low stock, but it says that they have them here. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I didn't find the lampshade, but I did find a lot of rocks that I can put into my vases. So came here for lampshade left with rocks. I'm literally just chilling in the Ikea. This is the nice man that helped me find the lampshade. Thanks, Marvin. You're awesome. I got the tea on the lampshade from my friend Marvin over there. So they're getting 36 more pieces next weekend. I'll come back and I can get my lampshade. So I think that's basically it. I got some things that I didn't plan to get, but that I needed to get. So I don't think it was a waste. One week later. Today is the day, guys. I am back at Ikea. It still says the same thing on their website. So I'm just hoping that it's there and it just hasn't been updated yet. If not, we might have to work some other alternative lampshade into the mix, but we're just positive vibes, positive vibes. Positive vibes. Well, it appears I was bamboozled because they don't have it. So they also have a couple straw sort of rattan baskets that I've seen people do like flips and they'll do a basket as a lampshade. If not, I'm gonna get this one. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but I guess I can always switch it out later if the other one ever comes back in stock. So my second option is just to get this black rattan basket, but I'm not sure if I want the black or the rattan. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get both of them and then return whichever one I don't end up using. I literally have like an entire store in my car at this point. They didn't have the lampshade I came for, but they had a vegan hot dog. Taste test. I mean, it was 79 cents, so. 
today we are finally getting a rug for the space at least i hope i was searching and searching on facebook marketplace to try to find something secondhand and one it's just difficult to find outdoor stuff right now because everybody's looking for it and also i think it just doesn't maybe get turned over that quickly so i found somebody that was local that is like at a bargain store and she has a ton of rugs so i just drove like 20 minutes outside of st louis to go to this furniture rug store and hopefully we will be leaving with a rug so here's one of the first rugs i'm looking at it's 70 dollars i think it's going to be perfect for this space i want something that's black and white but i have a couple contenders so this is number one the other option is this rug it's more like a neutral color this is the third option which i think i like better than the second one because i like has more of like a neutral with some cream this one's 80 dollars. the last option is this kind of diamond shaped one also 80 dollars for an 8 by 10. i don't know i'm kind of leaning towards this one or this one rug acquired. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to put like a 10 foot long rug in my very tiny car. Me and rug, me and bestie. I think it's going to look really nice in the space. So I am currently at Target trying to get a couple accessories to kind of bring the space together, mainly some throw pillows. They're pillows are 50% off, so I actually think it's going to be a fairly good deal. My plan is to get some more basic type of pillows and then do some DIYs with them and make them look a little bit more luxe than like a $7 outdoor pillow. My plan I think is to either like paint something on there with outdoor paint or maybe I will get some like rattan sort of twine and do like a twine design on them. There is just a lot of really chuggy not cute outdoor stuff and i want something that's chic i want something that's like sleek and modern so i think the only way to achieve that look is if i diy something myself i ended up getting the black and white pillows at target they were seven dollars each you can see i've had a very successful day i found the chairs at home goods for sixty dollars each and i was going to get chairs from ikea that were seventy dollars and i actually like these better so it was such a good deal and yeah we're gonna go into michael's now and see if we can find a couple things to diy the pillows <laughs> We are nearing the end of the things I need to pick up. I am going to be DIYing my own curtain rods for some curtains that I'm going to hang to kind of bring a little bit of moodiness into the space. So I have to pick up some steel pipes and some hooks to hang them, some spray paint. Let's do this. I feel like I'm on Mulan. Be your man with all the strength of Aging fire. So I have gotten the rods to make my curtain and now I just have to pick up the little clampy clamps to attach the curtain rods to my pergola. I'm also gonna pick up some of this black spray paint so I can spray my DIY curtain rods. This one is mint for high heat so I'm hoping it'll be good for the outdoors. It's time to make our DIY curtain rods and hang up the curtains which I am so excited about and I feel like it's really going to like make the space feel a little bit more private and just a little bit more luxurious. I picked up these two half inch steel conduit pipes and prepped to spray paint them. I started by cleaning the pipes so the spray paint would apply evenly to a clean surface and then I applied two to three thin layers of spray paint making sure to spray eight to ten inches away so the paint applies evenly. I have two curtain rods so I'm just going to repeat the steps on my second pipe. So I'm gonna leave it to dry for a couple of minutes. It looks really good. I know it looks kind of splotchy on screen, but that's because I am in a shadowy area, but it looks perfectly coated and it looks so much nicer now. I feel like this looks like a really high-end curtain rod now. While all my poles are drying outside, I'm going to come into the air conditioning for a bit and we are going to DIY the black and white pillows that I picked up at Target. I picked up the rope and I'm going to do a couple 
abstract sort of line designs to the pillows. All the designs I pulled are fairly simple and they're going to be easy to do with this rope, but I think I'm going to just draw out in a pencil the design I'm going for. That way it'll be really easy to glue it on there. So I'm going to get started on kind of rendering all of my designs and we'll get to hot gluing. I started off by drawing my design in pencil onto the pillow. Here's the initial design so I can easily glue the rope onto the pillow. Now I'm gluing the rope on in four inch sections and holding in place for a few seconds before moving on to the next section. And then I just repeated these steps on the remaining four pillows. A couple hours later and I am done with all of the pillows. I ended up going with a different design for each pillow and I think they look so, so good. They're kind of abstract designs so they were easy to put together, especially if I made a mistake or anything and I think they're going to look amazing on the couch. So Derek and I are trying to decide which Ikea lampshade we should use. I have the rattan one here. I like it, but I honestly feel like it kind of blends in. And then this is the basket that we're gonna turn into a lampshade. What do you think? Big boy. <laughs> you like this one? Yeah, that's the one. I think I like this one too. I think the black will contrast well with the pergola. So let's go DIY this and turn it into the shade of our dreams. So I found a tutorial online I will link the YouTube channel below. He has some really, really great Ikea flips and just like really great eye for homewares. That's how I found out about this basket turned lampshade. It's actually gonna be pretty easy to do, so let's do it. First, I'm removing the leather handles and we'll save those for another project for another time. Then I trace the opening of the pendant light cable I picked up on Amazon where the light screws in. And then I cut a whole shape in the bottom of the basket where we're going to install the lighting cable. I placed the lighting cable into the hole and secured it with some hot glue. To finish this project out, you're just going to screw the cable in place, add a light bulb, and it's complete. My favorite part of this, the plants. My plan is to grab a bunch of herbs that can offer some greenery to the space and be great for cooking. I'm also picking up some larger green plants to make the space super lush. Why are plants so expensive? I really hope that I don't kill these things because they're probably one of the most expensive things I'm buying for the whole space, but I know that they're gonna make the space and gardening brings people joy, right? I've read that lavender does really well in St. Louis, so I'm gonna pick up two of these. I'm gonna grab two of these grasses. They are supposed to be heat resistant, and I think they'll add a nice like texture to the space and be the perfect little small plant I need. Now to figure out how I'm gonna put all of this into my car, because my car is completely full. We made it all fit, and now we just have to put the whole thing together. So I got these string lights on Amazon. I also had a couple strands already from past patio projects. I literally put them on every single patio I have because they add so much ambiance to a space. And I've already strung those. I had to wait for these to get in from Amazon, so I'm going to string these. And then we shall add my DIY basket lamp. I think it's gonna look so good. You're so fine. This ladder is as unstable as I am. Oh my 
my god it looks so good I know it's like not that effective because it's not dark yet but I think once it gets darker it's going to look so good now we're going to add my Ikea pendant right in the center I have it set up here I need to get the light bulb I kind of just have it like rigged this way I don't like love this but I'm not really sure what else to do because this has to like go down no matter what to reach the outlet all right I brought out my husband Derek Especially the big guns. All right, guys, I brought in the big guns. He's gonna help us decide which light bulb. Ah! I feel like it's not that effective because it's not dark outside, but this feels like too, too inside. Too yeah, white. yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Ah! Oh, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's that's it. Very moody. Yeah, cozy. Okay, Vanna. Get it, Vanna. I can't wait for this space to finally be done, guys. Oh no, not me with a power drill again. We all know from my office makeover video that I'm not the most handy with drills, but damn it, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get better at it. And I also have to use one in order to install these curtains. So I have my two steel rods here that I have spray painted matte black. I am first going to attach these to the pergola. I'll link them below. They're basically just a conduit attach Mint. and this one will give me a little bit of space in between the actual wood plank and the curtain rod so that the curtains can move freely. I picked up these outdoor curtains on Amazon. They come in a pack of two, so I ended up picking up four, so we're gonna attach these, and then I have my steamer out here to kind of just zhuzh them up a little bit. They're very creased from being in the box. <laughs> Let's do it. These were actually really easy to apply. I started by drilling a hole with a drill bit and then I screwed the conduit attachment into the hole. From there, you can just pop on your curtains and you're good to go. Here we have the curtains put up. I just need to add in the screw to secure them and I'm going to obviously steam them, but I love this. You could like keep it closed if you wanted some added privacy or what I will probably do a lot of the time is just keep them kind of half open and I feel like they just add a little bit of privacy and honestly just add a lot more ambiance to the space. I can't believe this was like a $7 steel pipe from Home Depot. Guys, I can't believe it, but we are finally nearing the end and it's finally time to put the entire space together. I have dragged out everything that I have DIY'd, Facebook Marketplace, all my thrifted finds, everything that I've picked up for this patio makeover is sprawled all over my lawn and I'm going to assemble everything and we're finally going to get the full effect of all of my weeks of hard work. I just can't wait to see what the finished product looks like. So let's assemble this bitch!
And here is the finished patio space, guys. I can't believe it. Three weeks of really hard work, but it truly turned out better than I ever imagined. If you're thinking of redoing your patio space, this is your sign to do it. Outdoor furniture can be really expensive, so I definitely suggest getting stuff on Facebook Marketplace or thrifting it. I found my couch and coffee table on Facebook Marketplace and then all of the decor items I found thrifting. My lighting and curtains are all from Amazon and then my amazing IKEA DIY basket lamp is just absolutely magical. All of the pillows I got at a big discount at Target and obviously DIY them to make them look a little bit more funky a little bit more me and then all of the side tables and a lot of my planters my chairs were all from home goods nothing there was more than sixty dollars so i definitely suggest you know stopping in at a home goods or marshall's something like that that has a really good deal on outdoor kind of stuff and then obviously all of my little plant babies are home depot they are thriving just as much as i am in this space and i absolutely just cannot express how much I love this space. We have already used it so much to host people, to eat dinners. It's now just my favorite space in our whole house. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along in the process of me redoing yet another space. These videos are honestly so refreshing for me to do and I really, really love taking you guys along and redoing all these spaces. And as most of you guys know, we just moved to a new place, so there's going to be so much more home content coming your way, lots of rooms to redo, and lots of thrifting to be done for our house. Please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos like this. If you wanna follow me on Instagram for more thrifty content, you can follow me over there at Style. And until next time, bye.